All right, guys, welcome back here to part two in this base setup series here. Um, right now, it's time to take a look at the individual saddles down here. We have to take a look at the um, the string action here on this guitar. Uh, we'll have to set it up uh, to, you know, I'm going to go with the, the factory specs that, you know, um, Music Man provides on their webpage for you know these types of of uh, bases here that they produce. So I'm going to shoot for that, and from there we can always tweak it. So this would be a you know a good starting point. From there we're going to we're going to you know match the um, the strings to the radius of the fretboard. So we have to alongside adjusting the saddles, we have to make sure that the saddles are um, you know, adjust it to match the radius of the fretboard in order to to get the the bass here to play at its absolute best. So that's basically what we're going to do in this video right here. And um, I'm going to find the uh, the tools that we're going to need for this, and um, then I will reposition the camera so you can so you can get a better angle of what I'm doing here. So um, I'll be right back guys. Okay, so here are the tools that we're going to use. We're going to use the you know the string action gauge here in order to measure our adjustments and we're going to use it from the bottom here where we have our you know adjustments and measurements. So we can use that to to see how far we've taken our adjustments and um, other than that we're going to use some um, some action gauges here on the string gauges for setting the um, the strings to match the radius of the fretboard and um, in a little while we're going to take a look at what radius the fretboard on this base have and um, other than that, we're going to use this little Allen wrench here in order to get the um, the string height set properly, and um, this is going to be the things that we're going to to do in this video here. So let me just get it all set up so I can show you uh, from a good angle how we're going to check the radius of the fretboard. So um, I'll do that and reposition the camera guys and I'll be back then. Okay, so we're set up down here looking up at the fretboard. And here at the 12th fret, I generally like to, you know, measure the, the radius of the fingerboard. And um, I have, as I showed you, I have these, you know, radius gauges right here, um, you know, in different gauges depending on what you're setting up. And right now I have two here. Uh, one is 12 inch and one is 10 inch. And from what I could see on the um, on the web page, this, you know, sub series uh, four string base here is supposed to be 12 inch. Uh, for the fretboard radius, but if I take the the 12 inch radius here and place it so that it sits right here on the um, on the fretboard, you can see that if I wiggle out here, the gauge will move in each side, so. It's not perfectly 12th, but if I take out the 12th again here and I place the 10 inch, you know, place it the exact same place, get it to fit, you can see that it actually fits out here on the edges a lot better. So it looks more like, you know, a 10 inch radius to me. So, you know, Whatever gets you closest to the um, 
to the fretboard, fingerboard radius here. That's what we're going to set it up after. So this matches the 10 inch, so we're going to set it up after that. Um, you know, sometimes it, it, it's different from, from base to base, but when the web, web page says 12 inch, then um, you know we can only assume that it's 12 inch, but this 10 inch radius call is going to fit better here, so we're going to set it up after that and see how that goes. And if it turns out that it, it doesn't really work, then we can always go back and set it up. Uh, you know, to match the 12 inch radius, but we're going to stick with the 10 inch radius here. So now we have to to set up the um, the string height, and the way we're going to do this is that if I zoom out here, you should be able to see. I take it all down here. We're now ready to um, to take a look at the saddles. And um, the way you do this is that you start by setting the the two outer strings here, in this case the the low E and the G string over here. And on the guitar it would be you know both the outer E strings. But you start out by setting you know the two outer strings here to the you know desired um, string height that you want. And as I said. We're going to shoot for the um, the factory settings for this particular base in order to get it somewhere in the ballpark of what we need, and then we're always you know um, we can always tweak it from there and see what happens. So see the factory presets as a guideline in order to to get somewhere in the ballpark, and a lot of times the factory presets um, will you know suit most players and they like the way it is. So. It's just, you know, general rule of thumb, just go for that and see what happens. So we're going to do that. And um, I'll reposition the camera and we're going to take a measurement um, and see where the string height is right now. Um, and from there we're going to adjust it and see what it needs. So I'll be back guys. Alright guys, I'm going to take the, the action gates here. And we're gonna measure right here at the the 12th fret. And um, you know, let me zoom in here so we can get a closer look. If I place the action gauge here. We should be able to see, you know, where we're at here. And if I just press the string down, we are measuring, you know, from top of the fret to bottom of the string here. So this string is. You know, resting at a little under two millimeters here. So, what we like to see is basically 2.4. Um, so we can take the the low E and adjust its bridge saddle up a little bit in order to to move it up. Um, but while we're at it, let's try and and see what the uh, the G-string on the other side are at, and um, this might be a little hard to see, but it is at. It's actually a lot higher. This is at between 2.6 and 2.75 millimeters, and generally we shoot for two millimeters, you know, straight out. So we have to. To take that saddle down a little bit in order to to reach the uh, factory specs, um, so we're going to you know lower the G string and we're going to set the the low E a little higher in order to get it to where we need it. So um, let me just set up the camera in a way so you can see it, and um, I'll be back. Right. Guys. So I have the appropriate size Allen wrench here, and as I said, we're going to to adjust the, the low E string up a little bit, maybe quarter of a turn maybe, perhaps, you know, you know, max half a turn. And we're going to going to give each uh, adjustment screw the same, you know, adjustment. So a quarter turn for both in order to keep the saddle um, you know, parallel. We don't want it to be 
uh, to be tilted or anything like that. So I will insert the, the Allen wrench and we will give it a quarter of a turn and basically see what that does. So we you know raised the saddle up right now and we have to uh, to take the, the G-string saddle down a little bit here. So I'll have to see if I can do that because it sits quite low. Um, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, so we have made small adjustments there, and right now we want to go back and check at the 12th fret. Um, but before we do that, we want to tune to pitch. So let me just tune to pitch, um, get my tuner set up, and uh, from there we'll have to check the. All right, guys. Again. So we just made the adjustments down there at the um, the bridge, and we're going to check where the saddles are right now. So if I place it at the 12th fret again, we can see that we basically wanted our, our G-string to be at 2 millimeters. So I have the bottom of the string basically resting at 2 millimeters now, so that's great. We have it right where we need it. And for the low E, we wanted you know, 2.4, and if you can see this, if I just look down here, you can see we we have it somewhere in the middle, uh, almost being perfect. So we're going to leave it there at something like 2.35. So 2.0 millimeters for the, the G, and somewhere between 2.30 or 2.40 for the the low E. That should be great. So what basically remains now is that we're going to take the um, the radius gauge here and we're going to match the two remaining strings so the A and the G string and you know this is basically the easiest way to do it by you know setting the two outer strings to the you know proper or desired uh, string height and from there you can basically rest the, um, the action gauge right here on the two outer and then see where the two middle strings are at so that's what we're going to do now, and um, I'm just going to switch the camera so you can see it from a better angle. So, okay, guys, so guys. now that I have placed the the, um, the radius gauge under the strings here in the middle, you can see that if I place them close to the bridge saddles, you can see that I can basically rock this back and forth, meaning that I have to bring up the two middle strings in order to get it to fit the proper radius here. So this is basically what we'll do. We will lay down the the gauge and we will bring our Allen wrench into the picture here. And I'm going to adjust these two middle bridge saddles up here so that you know we can basically have them where they need to be. And this saddle right here if you can see that it's actually tilted a little bit, so we have to bring that. We have to bring this side up a little bit in order to, you know, make it somewhat flush. And that looks a little better, but we still have to take them up, um, you know, a little way. So I just have to check again here. Okay. So we're just going to take it and just turn it, you know, quarter of a turn on each here and just see where it gets us. So 
also have to bring it up a little bit. This will take a little bit of going back and forth and just checking. Probably have to bring this up a little bit too. So this is too high now, you can hear this one doesn't ring through, and this one doesn't, but the A string does, so we have just going to take it down a little bit. And that's basically the way that you can, you know, you can test it or hear it. So we have to bring it up just slightly again. And there you can hear it, it doesn't ring through. So we can just place it up here and we can basically see the same thing. And right there from that, we're basically right in the money. The radius is matching the fingerboard right now. As you can see this, matching the 10 inch here. And we're going to see how that works. And you know, the saddles look all right here. So, you know, right now we have adjusted the saddle and we have, we have uh, adjusted the height again. So we have to go back and check if we still have the, you know, the proper string height. Um, so we're going to check that as well, guys. So, okay. uh, so we're just going back to check the, uh, the string height to see if it's moved. Um, so if I place it here, you can basically see that we have the bottom of the string just touching up around 2.5 and that's great so we're right at 2.4 and for the g-string I'm just gonna check here I don't know if you can see it but we have it just right at 2 basically so nothing has changed and we have now set up the two the two middle strings in here to match the radius of the fingerboard and that was basically what we wanted so from here we're just going to move on and uh, take a look at the knot quickly and from there we are basically ready to adjust the, the pickup height in order to get that right to get the most out of the pickup and from there we're going to, you know, we've, we've set up the basic things of, of the guitar and we're basically ready to uh, take off the old strings here and put on a new fresh set of strings and this is the good thing about doing you know this initial kind of setup with the old strings on because you should be able to get things fairly close afterwards with the new fresh set of strings so this should be it guys um, hopefully this was helpful again so um, always feel free to ask questions or comment the video I'll be happy to answer any questions you have but this was fairly easy, uh, I have to admit. Um, it just goes to show that a great instrument is an instrument you can tweak to you know, the desired preference. 
and we can with this instrument indeed. So thanks for now guys, I'll see you soon.